Tonight, several churches in Providence, including the cathedral, are vandalized. Walkways in front of the churches were found covered in spray paint and writing this morning. And tonight, police are looking for those vandals. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner is live in Providence now with what he's learned. Jared? Yeah, that's right, Steve. We went to a few of those locations say there could very well be more that have not yet been reported to police, but overall, not a good few weeks for houses of worship. In the capital city of the most Catholic state, parishes hit with spray paint early Friday, orange scrawlings on walkways in front of church buildings. Eyewitness News surveyed the damage, steps from the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul, the words, Jesus is false God, and what the diocese says is part of the city owned plaza. On a nearby stone post, the numbers 611. Over at Holy Ghost on Atwells Avenue, orange graffiti scrubbed away at the foot of the steps. Further up Atwells at St. Adalbert's, false god before the front door, scrubbed but visible. Eyewitness News also found 611 and flat earth proof marring the World War II memorial near Superior Court. That 611, the common tie. And diocese officials declined to go on camera. They did send Eyewitness News a statement. It reads, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Providence is very concerned about the recent acts of vandalism near some of our churches. The church has full confidence that authorities will do a thorough investigation. We continue to encourage members of the Catholic Church to remain very vigilant about safety and security in light of the dangerous times in which we are living. Now, if you recall, two weekends ago, Our Lady of the Rosary over in Fox Point had a pulpit smash. Police confirmed to Eyewitness News tonight they have a person or persons of interest in that case, though no arrest warrants have been issued. We'll continue to keep on top of that story. Live in Providence tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.